we're going to look at this section here, 13 and 16, where we're given an explicit equation and we're trying to write a recursive definition. So a recursive definition has a couple parts. We need to give the first term of the sequence, which we can find by just substituting n equals 1. So negative 3 plus 5 times 1 is 2. The recursive definition should tell us <coughs> how to find the next term in the sequence given that we know this term. So to find the next term in the sequence, t of n plus 1, we're going to take the term before it, t of n, and we can tell by the explicit equation that what's happening is that we're adding 5 over and over again, so plus 5. So this is our recursive definition. Um, let's look at 16. We need to give the first term. So if we plugged in n equals 1, 6 times 1 half to the first power is 3. To find the next term in the sequence, we take the previous term, and we can tell here by this equation that we're multiplying by 1 half over and over again. So we could say times 1 half. 